Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Uh, so, so, teacher. <laughs> Why? You were sick yesterday. Uh, no, I uh, have a problem, family, family problem. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. no me you puedo couldn't make it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So now you are here and that is good to know. <laughs> Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Teacher, a, a, aprovechando el tiempo, perdón que hable en español, mm -hmm. este, me ayuda con las tres que están pendientes, que okay. todavía me salen malas. Ok, si eh, gusta, uh -huh. ok, eh, mándemelas en el chat de WhatsApp privado. Ok, uh -huh. se las mando. Ok, go ahead. Hello, Dennis. How are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Yesterday oh, you weren't here. Um, is uh, the work of mid midnight. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, you work until midnight. Yeah. Okay, and how was it? Was it good or was it bad? Was it good? Good, okay. Yeah. Not tiny. Yeah. Um, no, no. Um, the breakfast, um, much coffee. coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drink coffee. Drink coffee, juice. Yeah. Too bueno. Okay, was it good? <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, today she is tired. Today you feel tired? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, relax. And you? I'm fine, as usual. Fine. <laughs> a little bit tired, but a little bit uh -huh. tired, but I'm okay. Okay. So you completed the platform that Danis. Yeah, yes. Okay. And All do you have trouble, no? Um yes, um uh, a little problem, but um the the parting hair. Okay. Uh, see the group in WhatsApp. Uh huh. Yes, I checked your message. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, for it, um, the tips. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. Was it good? Yeah. Okay. So you you don't have trouble in the platform. You tell me. Um. Just Saturday. Um. Yeah. Mirror exam, mm -hmm. the problem or two, two, uh -huh. two, two problems, two mistakes. Uh huh. Yeah. Pero solution. Okay. Mm -hmm. The rest. Mm -hmm. The rest of the students. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are coming on their way. Oh. Okay, uh, let's see. Edwin, I'm checking your answers, and yes, those are the answers. There are a store in the city. There is a segunda, store. me equivoqué. Era, there is one office. Um, uh -huh. Estoy probando la que usted me dijo y me sale incorrecta todavía. There is a store. Okay. 
Y qué raro, porque ahora en la mañana resolví toditos los jueces. Y, y, o sea, de los que me dijeron que habían tenido problemas y, y, bueno, los pasé. De verdad. Uh -huh. Sigue con el problema, ya solo. Uh -huh. Vaya, la 3 dice, uh -huh. there is three distribution centers in el Opango. Uh -huh. There teacher. are three distributions. Yes, tell me. Vaya, well, teacher. Eh, y de hecho, bueno, yo tuve problemas. Oh, perdón. Después le digo. Uh -huh. Uh, teacher. Oh. Y me sigue. Pero ver, there are, there are a store. There is a store, pero no le he puesto in the city. El complemento en la primera no está. In the city. A mí, a mí esa en la in plataforma me dejó pasar solo, solo colocándole ar. Ajá, sí me dijeron también. Sí. Lo mismo, teacher. Lo mismo, no lo deja pasar. There is sí. a store in the city. Uh -huh. Qué raro. Y es que había una que solo era de poner la palabra que era la, como la correcta. O sea, quedaba como ambigua, no, no da una explicación. O si pide algo, al Ajá. final la respuesta es, por ejemplo, en la pregunta está la palabra office en plural. Simplemente hay que poner la office en singular y ya pasa. Entonces, creo que ahí ha quedado como antigua la plataforma para ese módulo, la verdad. Igual, a mí me pasa con una respuesta. Eh, dice que eh, selecciono de la, de, digamos, de, la, de todas las literales y ninguna me agarra. O sea, llegó un punto en el cual estaba como que adivinando y aún así no, no se pudo. Entonces, no sé a qué se debe que unos sí tengan problemas y otros no. Esa es una buena pregunta, porque como les digo, yo lo tomé ahora en la mañana, lo, los juicios esos que, que están haciendo y, o sea, no me dio ningún problema, lo, lo, lo pasé y de hecho hay otro compañero que les comentaba que ya lo, ya lo terminó todo e igual. Eh, me imagino que no le dio problema porque tuvo 100 en todas. Uh -huh. Pero igual, este, hay, que, hay que intentar, como dice eh, César, Edwin, para ver si, si lo logra pasar así. Uh -huh. eh, si has, he estado intentando, teacher. Uh -huh. Todos estos Bye. días, lo mismo. He Bye. intentado con R, quitándole one, poniéndole any, poniéndole much. O sea, variedad y no, no me cambia. O si no, al final de la clase, este, vamos a ver eso. Oiga, Edwin. Ajá, a ver en qué estará. Ahí le voy a escribir o me escribe por si se me olvida. Está okay? no, bueno, teacher. No hay problema. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Good evening, everybody. Hi, good evening. Good evening. So we are going to start right now. And maybe your classmates are coming from work, I guess, after a long time work day. So I'm going to pass the attendance list for the first time right now. And let's see, Alfonso, are you here? Alfonso? Okay, Ana Yancy? Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening, Cesar. Cesar, you were here, right? Claudia, not here yet. Okay, Danis? Okay, and Dolores Araí. Dolores? Okay, I guess that she's here. And let's see, Eduardo, not here yet. No. Okay. Edwin, Daniel? Yes. Present, teacher. Fidel? Eh, Karina. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Susie, welcome, Susie. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Evening. We were waiting for you. We were oh, waiting for you. you. I okay. feel important. <laughs> yes, you are important. Eh, Oscar is not here? No. Luis, not yet. En Lourdes. Okay, not yet. So we are uh, about to start right now. Mi nombre llamo, yes, I call you, Cesar. I say Cesar. Me llamo. Yes. Cesar. 
Okay. Okay. Sure. So we are going to start, guys. And well, today we have an interesting topic. An interesting topic. Look. No me mencionó, teacher. No? Nelson. Yes. Nelson, okay. And Luis, right? Okay. Okay, Luis and Nelson. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Good evening. So you are on time right now. We're about to start. So as you can see, guys, we have here the presentation for tonight. This is the class number 12. That means that we are missing only eight days more and we finish the course. So again, my invitation is for you not to miss the classes, be on time and try to practice during the classes, do the activities and do the homeworks, okay? So um, as you can see, the topic for tonight is how to use the present perfect. Have you heard about the present perfect before? No? No. It's when, the, when you use how or has. Yes, that's um, right. Past participle. The past participle of the verbs. Uh, so you need to memorize the, the verbs, right? Because the regular verbs change in the past. The only verbs that doesn't that don't change are the regular verbs. Okay. So that we are going to check it in a few minutes. But before we are going to check the previous class content. And well, we are going to begin by asking and answering questions. Edwin, can you ask the question number one to Karina, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, what do you remember from previous class? Uh, the previous class, we talking about uh, how can we resolve the uh, issues or to uh, report uh, issues at work. All right, how to solve the issues at work and how can we solve those issues at home, Karina? I mean, at work. At work, for uh -huh. example, uh, we talk, we uh, identify the issues mm -hmm. and to talk with the area. Like uh, for example, if my computer, uh, it doesn't work, I talk IT department, IT support. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Karina. Thank you. Now, uh, Dennis, can you help me by asking the question number two? And select five students from this class. Okay. Five students. Vamos a ver. Al que no lo esté viendo, es el hijano. O al que tenga la cámara apagada. <laughs> Qué maldad. Cuánta maldad. <laughs> Uh, arranquemos con Deiva. Okay. Luis Armando. Mm -hmm. Ask him. Okay. Ah. Yes, teacher. Okay. That is ask him. Ask him. Mm -hmm. Hágale la pregunta número okay. dos. Mm -hmm. Think about a problem in the workplace and how you can solve it. Okay, yes. Liz. Solve it. Go ahead, Liz. Well, um, usually um, I have a problem with my computer. Okay. And the screen it is uh, Every day the screen como se dice, freeze, freezes, se congela. Uh -huh. It freezes. It's freezing. Freezes. Mm -hmm. and, and I have to make the, 
the report to the uh, assistant um, um, para to repararla, para repararla, replay. To fix. It, this is my problem. Okay. Every day. Okay. Thank yeah. you very much, Luis. Thank you. Now, Dennis, who is the second participant? Susana. Susie. Hi again. <laughs> you make me the question on the answer? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, in my workplace, uh, if you have a problem with the machine or any, oh, say, an air conditioner, for example, you call the area and you make a, a ticket in the platform. And, mm. and then the people go to the office and solve it. Okay. 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 Thank you, Susie. Thank you. Just another one, Dennis. Uh, Saray. Dolores, are you there? Good night. Good evening. Hi. Hello. Voy entrando. No sé qué están haciendo. Perdón. <laughs> Dennis, repeat okay. the question. Uh, repeat. Um, Saray. Think about a problem in the workplace. Uh, how you can solve it? Perdón, no entendí, perdón. Okay. Es que ten, estoy en el celular y casi escucho como cortado. Okay, eh, a problem in your workplace. Un problema en su en su lugar de trabajo. Dolores. La posible solución. Ah. Ah, okay. Um, the communication. Yeah. Ah, uh, the solvate. It's hablar más. <laughs> no sé cómo se dice. Speak more. Speak more. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Dolores. Thank you. Okay. Choose another one, Danis, please. Nelson. Nelson. Yes. Nelson Ivan. Yes. 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 Tell me. The question then is, please. Okay. Nelson, think about a problem in the workplace and how you can solve it. And I have a problem with our printer. Ah, okay. And I can solve in calling the technic technical for a pie machine. Okay, interesting, thank you. The last one, Danis, please. Alfonso Cabrera. Alfonso, are you there? Yeah. Let's see, Alfonso. I guess that he's not here. Okay. Just Alfonso, another. Fidel, Fidel Coreas. Fidel, are you there? No, he's not here neither. Bueno, entonces, vámonos con... Bueno, que nos ayude, que nos ayude Karina. Ok, Karina. Go Estoy ahead. Pendi está pendiente. Ok. <laughs> Think about problem in workplace and how can solve it. Yeah. Mm, ok. Ok. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the last example to Anajansi yesterday was 
uh, her computer is slowly and, mm -hmm. and she didn't have a, a, she needs to solve because she has a she need uh, to make a report and first of all uh, she told told me that i did support and then uh at a uh, meet to review her kit her, okay. com her computer equipment. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. equipment. Uh -huh. but uh, just friday <laughs> because just some friday work i think oh, okay uh -huh. <laughs> Interesting, thank you. Yeah. So, as you can see, the last class was about vocabulary, but the today's class is different because as I told you, the topic is the present perfect. Maybe this topic is considered to be a little bit difficult. Why? Because mm -hmm. you, use, you use the past participle of the verbs you know, and the most complicated verbs are the irregular verbs because they change. For example, you have the verb it in the present. What is the simple past? Eight, right? And then you have the past participle that is? Eat. Eat, okay? So you need to manage that information in your head, okay? So, well, before we start, before we get into the matter, we are going to practice the conversation just for you to, you know, get ready. Vamos a calentar motores antes de que nos vayamos, verdad, al topic. So the conversation is between two people, Luke and George. Okay, so pay attention to the pronunciation. And then you are going to practice in the breakout rooms together. And then you are going to answer a couple of questions, okay? So let's see. Uh, pay attention, please. What's wrong? Listen, what's wrong? No se pronuncia gron, gron. No, that is incorrect. It's wrong. Como que si no existe, como que si no existe la W antes de la R. It is wrong, okay? What's wrong? With the computer, George. Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked. No se pronuncia check it. Se pronuncia checked. Checked, okay? I have checked. I have checked it everywhere. And it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are blocked? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with mm -hmm. her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay. Do you have any work here for vocabulary that you may not understand? Look. When say all the cables are plugged. Ah, ok. Plugged. Todos los cables están conectados. Uh -huh. All the cables are plugged. Uh -huh. Todos los cables están conectados. Ok. Another question. Yes, teacher. What? Tell me. How do you say... Eh... Ay, ya perdí. Uh, se me perdió ah, donde dice usted uh, the same problem with her no sé cómo dice eh, ah, equipment equipment, uh -huh. the same problem with her equipment ok, 
eh, Ana ha tenido, Ana has had, Ana ha tenido el mismo problema con su equipo. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you for your question. Another question, guys, or it's clear? Uh, the meaning of purpose. Carlos and purple. Uh, this one in look. Uh, uh -huh. Checked all the cables are blocked. Cables no. blocked. Uh -huh. no. no. Is this one, Karina? Yes. Okay. Cables conectados. ¿Has chequeado que todos los cables estén conectados? Excluye. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Conectados. Lock. Se pronuncia lock. Lock. Uh -huh. lock. lock. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. No more questions, guys. No, miss. No. Ok. So, what is the problem in this conversation? What is the problem? Yes? Grow. What is, it, what is it? What is the, the pronunciation in the in Spanish? Grow? Below? Or which one? Where is Por donde? Grow. What is the pronunciation and in, 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 in Spanish, grow? Grow, grow. Mm, What's grow? See. What's grow? Let me see. Which line? In qué línea está? The first. Ah, what's wrong? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál es el problema? What's wrong? ¿Qué what's hay de malo? Wrong? Uh -huh. ¿Qué what's hay de malo? Wrong what's computer. wrong? Uh -huh. What's wrong? What's wrong? wrong? ¿Qué hay de malo? ¿Cuál es el problema wrong. con la computadora? Uh -huh. Okay. What's wrong? Okay. wrong. Another question? <laughs> No more questions. No. Okay. So when you finish practicing this, remember, practice is really important. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go to the breakup rooms and I'm going to practice with you. Okay. If I see that somebody is not practicing, I'm going to be there. And well, after that, you have to, uh, in this case, don't worry. If you know the answer, perfect. If you don't know the answer, you can uh, suggest, you can think about what could be the best answer here. Don't worry, okay? This is just an exercise. Excuse me. Yes? Nothing. No? No. Okay. So we continue. Um, you are going to select one word. Either have or has, either have or has, or either send or sent. Okay? Okay. This is the brief exercise. Es un ejercicio chiquitico como lo ven acá, pero sí es para calentar motores, ¿ok? Porque el tema, como ya se lo dije, es un poco eh, complejo. No es difícil. It's not difficult. Pero sí necesita concentration, ¿ok? So we are going to go to the breakout rooms. Get ready. Get ready to practice. Yeah.
Hi, Hello. Miss. Hello. Are you Hello. practicing? Les mandé a Luisito porque se me había quedado sin, sin, sin grupo. No, está bien. Está bien, está bien. Okay. Está bien. Okay. So okay. we can practice. Gracias. Ok. ¿Vamos una línea cada uno o lo hacemos parejo? No. Eh, por pareja. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, in couples. First, Susie ah, okay. and Edwin. Then Edwin and Luis. And then Luis and Susie. Ok. Ok, ok. Ok. Uh, start you, Edwin, or me? Okay. Uh, I start. Uh, okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, look. Well, I don't know. I have checked it in everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have to check all the cables are plugged. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it. Check it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that had the maintenance didn't replace the batteries. No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope we can fix this problem. Okay. Hoy, Luis, con usted, Susana. Okay. Okay, I start Luis. What's wrong with the computer, George? Sorry, sorry. Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have a check it. It everywhere. No very We have not buried to the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I hear I hear that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sent the memo every week. I see. By the way, the, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay. Hi, Miss. Okay, I got one observation. The pronunciation of the word check in the past tense, what is it? Check uh, in the past tense. The past tense? Check it. Check el e. It's checked or check, check it. Check it. What is the check correct it. pronunciation? Check it or checked? Yes. Check. Check. Just <laughs> check. 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 It. Ajá. No. Solo, solo es check. checked. Como que yeah. si fuera una T. Un sonido T al final. Check. Ah, check. Okay. Mm -hmm. check. ¿Por qué? Porque todas las palabras, o sea, todos los verbos que terminan en un sonido que no tiene vibración cuando yo lo pronuncio, tal es el caso de check, eh, tenemos la uh -huh. esa, ¿verdad? No, no vibra no. mi garganta. Entonces, Correct. todos esos verbos que no tengan vibración van a sonar en el pasado como si fuera una T, sonido T. Lo mismo sucede con okay. el verbo work. Pero esto es con relación a los verbos regulares, porque los irregulares son otra cosa. Los regulares son los que llevan la ed, la ed al final. Uh -huh. Pero sí, hay que tener cuidado con eso de, de la pronunciación. Okay? Okay. It's checked. 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 Okay. Checked. 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 Ahí sería, como está un it también a la par, hay que hacer un link, que sería uh -huh. checked. It. Checked. It. Okay? I have checked. Checked. It. checked it. Como que chetet, como los churros chetos, ¿verdad? Chetet, chetet, ajá, 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 yes, chetet, chetet, okay, that is it. Okay. 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 Sir. Circle the correct words to complete the statements compared with your part. Hello. Y la tercera, 
ha sen o sen, sen o sen. Ahí sí, no sé. Ahí sí, yo tampoco. Ok, that is the point, sí. Porque esto es como una intro al tema. Aquí no se me preocupen de que, ah, no entendí, la teacher me va a regañar. No, don't worry. Solo lo que ustedes crean, ¿sí? Lo que ustedes crean. Discutan cuál suena mejor. Este, o si ya conocen más o menos el topic, ahí subrayen la que ustedes consideren que es mejor. ¿Ok? Ya después vamos a dar la explicación. Y al finalizar la clase ustedes se van a dar cuenta. Ah, ok. Por eso se tuvo que haber elegido esta. Ajá. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I think... I think with the verb no change. Okay. Eh, Además, creo que el verbo no cambia. Si no me acuerdo. ¿Qué piensas? Ana, Yancy? Eh, Hacen con D. Okay. Uy. Pero en las primeras dosis también, teacher. Eh, ¿Cuáles han puesto? Have, and, have they check the system? Y en la number two, Mary has had the same problem with the her company. Yes, sí, estamos bien ahí. Ahora en el tercero, ¿cuál vamos a elegir? Send o sent? Send. Uh -huh. Me apoya don Nelson. Send. <risa> ok, pongamos send entonces y luego vamos a discutir cuáles son las respuestas correctas, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, don't worry. Finish. Ok, and you practice the conversation. Now. Ok, yes, practice the conversation. Ok. Pues, espérame. ¿Cómo lo, cómo lo reenvío? Solo dale responder ahí, como que aquí está, para ahí, ah, para aquí, que no... Sí, 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 tenés razón. Aquí está, te voy a responder. Yo creo que sí, este es. <coughs> Mira. Ahorita vamos a ver. Revisa el grupo. Ah, sí, ese me va a redireccionar para allá. Ay, lo voy a tener que descargar con este lento internet. Ok. ¿Lo compartiría usted después? Sí, ahorita, o sea, cuando se me descargue en este internet. No estás en el, no estás en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Cómo no? No, a, a Fidel, a Fidel. ¿Cómo no? Voy a dejar de compartir y voy a descargar el Sí, link. sí, sí, dale, dale, dale. Ay, dale. Sí, de todas maneras no sé. Dale, dale. Casi no. En algún momento de la vida mi internet va a responder bien. <risa> don't worry, don't worry. I guess that all internet connections are presenting problems lately. Todos sí. los internet están presentando como un problema ahí, ¿verdad? ¿A Corre. qué se debe? A saber. A saber. Pero yo he estado luchando, luchar y luchar. Ok, lo importante es que esté aquí y que se mantenga aquí. Ok. Mientras no me saque. Ok, okay so you practice the conversation. Yeah. yeah. Ok, and the exercise you completed. No, yet, we're, I was checking uh, the book we are trying to. Ok. It's good I'm to going, see you. It's good to see you, Fidel. I'm going to download the document for sharing. It's good to see you, Fidel. What? It's good to see you. Ah. Es bueno verlo acá en el grupo practicando. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. ¿Qué página es? Yo te digo la uh, 31. La 31. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Hi. 
Okay. So you were late to work from home. No, no tengo compañero. Ah, okay. Yes. I know. I know. Ah, sí. Ahí está Luis. <laughs> Ahí está Luis. Está okay. Edwin también. Okay. Yes, because we finished the activity, Claudia. Yo me voy conectando. Uh -huh. Sí, es lo que le decía, si salió tarde de trabajo. Sí. Okay, don't worry. The good thing is that you are here. Lo importante es que ya está aquí. Ya llegué. Yes, llegué para quedarme. Sí. <laughs> okay. All right, Luis, do you want to help me uh, with Danny's in the conversation? Okay. Okay, so Luis is Luke and Danny's is George. Okay, excellent. I start now. What's yes. wrong with the... Excuse me? Yes, start. Okay, what's, what's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have check, check it everywhere. And it won't turn now. That's too bad. How about the, con the connection? How do you check out the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the thing, things has check, check. Check it to check it to mm -hmm. check it uh, to we have now verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had some problem with her equipment. Equi equipment. Yeah, I heard that. How's the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they have it. My boss send them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Ray, I hope he can fix this problem. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Yes, just one observation. I know okay. it's a little bit difficult to pronounce the verbs in the past tense. Es un poco difícil, como ya les decía, verdad? Pronunciar <laughs> los verbos regulares in pasado. Okay. Acá sería I have checked it. Checked it. Checked it. Checked it. Uh -huh. Checked it. Okay. Everywhere. Okay. I have checked it everywhere. Okay. So thank you. Um, now let's listen to, let me see, Cesar and Fidel. Cesar and Fidel. Cesar? Okay, hi. Wait, Cesar is not here. So I'm going to ask, um, let's see, Susie, can you do it? Uh, can you have the conversation with Fidel, please? Okay. Hi, Susie. Hi, Fidel. You start. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, look. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't to run. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked it all the cables are plugged? Yes, I had Mario, the technician, has checked it to we have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the sound problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sent them a memo every week. I see. But the way the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix the problem. This problem. Thank you. Excellent. Now, Edwin and Karina, please. Edwin and Karina. Okay. Karina, okay. you start. Okay. 
What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Gluck. Well, I don't know. I had to check it uh, everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. Mario, the technician, had to check it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna had had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team re replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sent them a memo every week. I see, but the way the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this, this problem. Perfect. And Thank you. So just one observation. The pronunciation of this word is cables. 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 Yes, cables. cables. Cables are blocked. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, I told you, this exercise, don't worry. If you don't know the answer, don't worry. This is just uh, to know or to have an idea about what you know on this topic, okay? That is the present perfect. So tell me, uh, let's see who can tell me. Maybe, well, voluntarily, what do you have for the answer number one? Which one did you select? Hi. Have. Have. Okay. Have. Okay. Have. Yes, it's correct. But tell me, why did you select have and not has? Because it's plural. Uh -huh. Okay, it's plural. Yes. yes. Thank you. In number two, what do you have as an answer? Have or has? Has. 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 Why has and not have? Tercera persona. Okay. Singular, third person. Okay. Thank you. And in number three, what do you have? Send. 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 In the present tense or in the past tense? Present. Present. Present or past? With, with T. With T. In the past. Yes. Okay. In the past, in the past tense. Yes. Sí. In the past tense. Yes, that's right. So how how does it uh, how does it read the number one complete completely? ¿Cómo se leería la primera ya completa con la con la que seleccionaron? Yeah, they check the system. Okay, check it check. or checked. Check. 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 With T. Con una T. Yeah. Check. Have they checked the system? Okay. Thank you. And number two? Mary has had. Mary has had some problem with the computer. Thank you. And number three? Her boss has sent her to activity department. The IT department. Okay. Thank you very much. So, um, do you know this, guys? <laughs> do you know this? <laughs> this is what I was talking about. It. De esto les hablaba al principio. The past participle of the irregular verbs. Past participle of irregular verbs. You know that in English, we have two type of verbs. We have the regular verbs and we have the irregular verbs. Do you remember what are the regular verbs in the past tense? ¿Se acuerdan de los verbos regulares en pasado? ¿Qué sucedían? What is the difference between the irregular and the regular verbs? Regular, uh, agreed, uh, ID. Mm -hmm. ID and the irregular 
Regular is in the form. Uh -huh. They change. Change. They change. Uh -huh. Exactly. That is the answer. The regular verbs, you need to add only D, E, D, or I, E, D. Esas tres tenemos que agregarle a los regulares, ¿verdad? En pasado. Uh -huh. And the regular verbs are the same in the past simple and in the past participle. Los verbos regulares van a ser iguales en el pasado simple y en el pasado participio. The same. Con la ED o con la IED o solamente con la D. But the regular verbs, they change. These are some examples, okay? I can, I can share a list in the group later when we finish the class with some irregular verbs in the past tense. These are the most common ones. Estos son los más comunes. For example, we have the verb be. Do you know what is the past tense of the verb be? Simple past tense. Was. Where? Was. Was and was where? Where. where. Where, very good. Yeah. And what is the past participle? The past participle. Be. Been. Been. Okay, been. All right. So, do you know the verb, uh, let's see, the verb do? Do. What is the simple past tense? Did. 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 And in the past participle? Done. 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 Okay. Done. Very good. What about the verb no? No. Mm -hmm. What is the simple past tense? Oh, new. Past. new. 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 And the past participle? Oh. No. No. Okay. So you see, these are the most common verbs. Son algunos verbos comunes. Pero qué pasa si yo les digo? Tell me what is the past participle of the verb understand? Understand. A ver quién me lo dice. Uh, understood. Understood, ok. Y el past participle, ¿cuál sería? Understood. Understood. No, es. ¿Cómo se dice? Igual. The same. The same. The same. Yes, it's the same. Understood, understood. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you see, there are some verbs that maybe you know, and also there are some verbs that probably we don't know. But here, the main idea is to memorize. Aquí, la recomendación es memoria. Memoria okay. y práctica. Why? Because yeah. this change. Yes, this change. Estos cambian en past simple y en past participle. Puede ser que se topen con algún verbo como el understand, que en el past simple sea understood y en el past participle también sea understood. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's see. What happens with the past participle of the regular verbs? This is what I was talking about. Some verbs in the past participle, if they are regular, you only add ed, ied, or d. Uh, I suppose that you know these rules. Supongo que ya saben más o menos estas reglas. Ahí por el módulo tal vez cinco o cuatro. No? Yes. Okay. So this is just for you to recall. Ahorita estamos como refrescando ya para ir aterrizando. Okay. So the examples are this. The examples in the present tense we have the verb play. Play. In the past is played. The play, past play. the past participle is played too. Okay, played. Uh, study is studied. Work is worked. Worked. Listen, listened. Listened. Listen. Listen. Mm -hmm. Care is cared. When we finish the class, I'm going to send you a video on YouTube to the group 
about okay. the pronunciation about the pronunciation of the regular verbs in the past tense because this is a little bit complicated but not impossible okay so uh let's see this is the present perfect affirmative okay when do i use the present perfect when do i use the present perfect karina can you help me reading the definition please okay perfect present affirmative action that start in the past but continue in the present Through thank you so <laughs> no, only that only the definition right now only definition take it easy <laughs> thank you okay so vamos con la definición vamos a ir paso a paso para que nadie se me quede cuando uso el present perfect for actions that start in the past but continue today okay for example what is something that started in the past maybe the english course the english course started in uh what july 5 right july 5 july 5th and it continues to the present yes that is an example or another example can be you um you work for example you work in md md okay md let's suppose that karina works in md she began working in the past and in the present she is still working okay that is the present perfect así relacionaríamos lo que es el present perfect karina empezó a trabajar en el pasado pero continúa trabajando en el presente en la tienda md okay so the structure yes karina you were telling me the structure cómo vamos a, a, a ver la, 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 la estructura gramatical para los sujetos uh -huh. can you help me karina reading the structure please okay. structure for such as a you we they you such a plus half plus participle a verb plus complement okay thank you karina Vaya, acá se los he dividido. Ahorita solo vamos a ver los subjects I, you, we, they, you. And you need the subject, el present perfect auxiliary verb that we need is have. Okay, have. Para estos sujetos yo voy a usar el have. Plus okay. the past participle of a verb. It can be any verb. Can be the irregular verbs or it can be the regular verbs. Aquí es opcional. Ya sea un verbo regular o irregular, pero en pasado participio. Plus the complement. Okay, the complement. Examples. Uh, let's see. Uh, Eduardo, can you help me reading the example number one, two, three, please? I have finished my meal term. You have worked late at night. They have paid attention to the instructions. They have they have huh? had dinner. Mm -hmm. You have understood the topic. Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you. So here you have some examples, and you have the contraction. Okay, the contraction. And the contraction for I have is I've. The contraction for you have is you've. The contraction for they have is they've, they've, okay? The contraction for we have is we've. Mm -hmm. uh, the contraction for you have they've, is you. We've, you've, I've, okay? I've, okay? I've, I've, So these are the contractions. I've, now, can you I've, help me identify I've, what is the subject in the first example? Eight. I. 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 Okay. You. The auxiliary, what is it? Up. Have. Okay. Uh, the past participle? Finished. 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 And the complement? My midterm. My midterm. Mid Thank you. In number two, what is the subject? You. 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 The auxiliary? Have. 
Late at night. Late at night. Very good. Do you have any questions right now? Oh, Miss. Ah, vaya, está bueno. Tipo 4, 4 y media. Nos ponemos de acuerdo y no sé, nos vemos. Nos ponemos de acuerdo, no se le No. Y la de Runner, yeah, bárbara. Te quemar todas las calorías de la semana. Eduardo. Parece, yo ahorita acabo de salir de la. Eduardo, you have the mic on. Can you please turn it off? Thank you. So, uh, as I was telling you, do you have any questions, guys, so far? ¿Estamos bien hasta el momento? Yes. Yes, teacher. Speak right now. Yes, teacher. Speak right now or keep silent forever. Hablen ahora o callen para siempre. No? Okay, no questions. No questions. Okay, so we continue with the structure for the subject, she, he, it. ¿Qué pasa con los otros sujetos en la forma afirmativa? Okay. Uh, Dennis, can you help okay. me read in the structure, please? Okay. Um, structure for subject, she, he, it. Subject? Los uh, has 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 participle 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 mm -hmm. except complement complement okay que te lo de papito okay go ahead okay. he has taken or take Taken. Taken a victory of the class. Um, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se dice? Abreviado o... Ah, the contraction. The contraction. Teeth. Okay. Yeah. Number two. He has written the report. Written. Teeth. Written. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. And number three, it has it or eaten. eating. Eaten. Eaten is food. The contraction, it's. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good job. So this is the structure for the singular, for the singulars, okay? Yeah. She, he, it, three subjects. <laughs> and in this case, we don't use have, we use has. El have se usaba para los primeros sujetos, ¿verdad? Que ya lo vimos anteriormente. Y el has se va a usar específicamente para she, he, it. it. Okay? Estamos hablando siempre de la forma afirmativa. Yes. And, well, can you tell me what is the subject in the example number one? Can you identify the subject? She. 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 Okay. The she. auxiliary for the present perfect. Has. Has the past participle? Take. Taken. 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 Okay, and the complement? Uh, a picture, picture of the class. Of the class. Okay, very good. In number two, what is my subject? He. 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 The auxiliary? Has. 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 The past participle? Written. 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 Okay, and the Written. complement? She report. The report. Very good. So in this case, you have the contraction. Miren, eh, aquí esto es un poco confuso, lo que les decía. Porque cuando estamos usando el verb to be, el verb to be se, se contracta de, de igual forma, ¿verdad? Para decir she is, y yo lo quiero decir contractado, digo she's. 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 It's. Yes. El present perfect se contracta de igual forma para estos tres sujetos, pero no quiere decir que usted va a decir she is o she, eh, he, he is, sino que estamos diciendo she has o he has. How do I identify? ¿Cómo lo voy a identificar? Easy, with the verb, con el verbo. Tiene que haber otro verbo en pasado participio a la par. Ahí ustedes yeah. dicen, ah, está hablando en presente, perfecto. Okay. So that is the difference. Yes. Uh -huh. No, no sé si me perdí, pero 
Uh, cuando ponemos I have, you have, they have, eh, el, el, ¿cómo se llama? Lo que sigue del verbo terminan en ed. Eh, ajá, pero esos serían los regulares. Regular ah, verbs, no. son los regulares. Lo y nos puede, el... man, nos puede man, bueno, al menos a mí me puede mandar este lo, lo de la captura esa de donde están los verbos. Ajá, sí, es lo que les dije, que voy a hacer, que al finalizar la clase le voy a mandar una serie de videos al chat para que pueda practicar la pronunciation de los regular verbs in the past tense, ¿ok? Ok. And, yes. Thank you. Ok, no problem. So, uh, I want to mention another thing. You won't exactly have she, he, it. Sometimes you can have the name of a person or the name of an animal or an object. For example, I can say, Karina has taken a picture of the class. Karina's taken a picture of the class. Or I can say, uh, for example, Eduardo. Eduardo has written the report. Okay, Eduardo's written the report. Contract. Yes. My dog, my dog has eaten its food. Okay. Yes. Are you following me? Okay. So you are going to show me if you understood. Me van a demostrar ahorita si ha quedado claro esto. You need to write down three examples with the affirmative form of the present perfect. Any subject, okay? Cualquier sujeto pueden usar. Three examples. Affirmative. Right now. I'm going to give you one or two minutes for you to complete this activity. Give me your examples. We have 
studied Wait. English course. Tell me, tell me again, please. We have studied. We have English. And the English like this. Course. Course. Okay. Okay, very good. Another one that you have. I has written a letter. I have written a letter. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Another student that has finished. Me, teacher. Okay. Give me your examples. Okay. I need helping English class. I? I need. Need. Helping okay. English class. Okay, but what need. is the auxiliary? What is the, the auxiliary have? Uh, I. Mm -hmm. In contract. Ah, contract. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry. I, I have needed helping English class. Thank you. Uh, I have played football. Played football. Uh, my daughter has needed my help. I have played soccer and my daughter has needed my help. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you, thank you. Another person who wants to share the, the examples? Hi, Miss. Okay, tell me. Okay, uh, the number one, I have finished my report. Another one? You have work the next weekend? You have worked the last weekend since? Mm, yeah. Last weekend, okay. Weekend. He has. He has. Excuse me. Eating. Uh huh. It's seafood. Seafood. He has eaten seafood. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Another. Another person who wants to share. Huh? She has completed the homework. Say it again. She okay. has she has completed the homework. Uh, like this, she has copied. Ella copió la tarea. Ella no, ha copiado la tarea. Completed. Ah, completed. Completed. Hmm. She has completed. She has completed the homework, okay? Another one? Another? No? No more? Okay. So we are okay. Estamos bien hasta el momento, ¿verdad? Por lo que puedo apreciar, se ha, te, se ha entendido el topic de la affirmative. Okay, let's continue with the present perfect negative. Uh, let me see. It's right here. The negative. Let's check the negative form. Okay. The negative form. Uh, for the subjects, I, you, we, they, and you, the negative is haven't, haven't, okay, haven't. For the subject, she, he, it is hasn't, hasn't, okay. And here you have some examples. Edwin, can you help me reading the examples, please? Teacher, I haven't finished yet. You haven't listened to your boss's boss orders. Boss orders, uh huh. She hasn't given the instructions to the co worker, she hasn't fixed the machine. Okay, 
Thank you very much. So as you can see, what is the subject in the first sentence? Hi. Hi. Okay. What yeah. is the negative, the auxiliary in negative that we are using here? Yeah. Haven't. Haven't. Okay. <laughs> the past participle? Finish. Finished. Finished. And the complement is? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. In number two, what is the subject? You. 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 Okay. The, the auxiliary in negative? Having. Having. And the past participle? Finish. 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 Number two, listen. Listen. Okay. And the complement? Okay. Very good. In number three, what is the subject? She. She. What is the negative? Has. Hasn't. The past participle? Given. Uh, Given. And the complement? The machine. Instruction. Instruction. To the coworker. To the coworker. Co Very good. Co Perfect. Co so maybe uh, you are wondering, teacher, what does it mean have and hasn't? Have or haven't or has and hasn't in Spanish. Do you know what is the meaning of this perfect uh, tense? Sabemos cuál es el significado en español de este tiempo en inglés? Porque tal vez, yo siento, ¿verdad? Que anda rondando por esas cabecitas hermosas. Eh, tener, el verbo tener. ¿Verdad? El verbo tener. Pero en inglés, este have o haven't, has and hasn't, significa también haber, haber. Y es la forma que estamos viendo ahorita, el verbo haber, ¿ok? Aquí yo estoy diciendo en español, yo no he terminado aún, yo no he terminado aún. Tú no has escuchado las órdenes de tu jefe. Ella no ha dado las indicaciones a su compañero de trabajo. ¿Ok? Estamos con el verbo haber. ¿Ok? Positivo y negativo. ¿Yes? So, do you have any questions so far? No? no ok. No. So, can you give me uh, some examples using the negative form? Haven't and hasn't? I haven't worked all day. Uh -huh. I haven't worked, worked all day. All day. Worked Very good. All uh -huh. day. You haven't accepted the offer? Accepted the offer. You haven't accepted, accepted the offer? The offer. The offer. Uh -huh. And she hasn't run it yesterday in the morning. Okay. Pay attention. She hasn't what? Run. Run it. Run. De correr, correr, run it, ah, ah, pero el run es un verb irregular o regular. Irregular. Irregular. Entonces no llevaría ed. No. No, lo no. puse mal, lo escribí Ajá. mal. ¿Cuál sería el past participle? Mm. Is run. Ajá, can you spell it? Are you and run it like this? No, run, yes, like no that. change. Uh huh, I don't. you don't remember. No, 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 no I don't Why remember. Not? I think okay, uh, no, 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 en presente es run, ¿ok? En yes. pasado simple, ¿cuál sería? A ver, ¿quién me ayuda? Okay. Vamos a abrir un paréntesis acá, vamos a discutir esto, porque quien lo diga nos va a invitar a propósitos. No, mentira. A ver, tenemos run en present. Eh, ¿Cuál sería el pasado simple? Empieza con R. Ah. 
buena pista. Ajá. Pues sigue una vocal. Ring. Run with A. Run with A. Very good. Yes. Yes, and with then, A. Oh, nice. Más participle. And Otra pista. Empieza con ah. R. <laughs> It's the same the, the present. Run. Yes. Run. Ok. Me gusta hacerlos yes. pensar. Me gusta hacerlos pensar. Ok. Es run, run, run. Ok. Run, oh, run, no, run. Run, 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 run. run. Yes. No. <laughs> run, run, run. Ok. That is the past participle. Very good. Another example, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Susie. Good examples. Another example. Uh -huh. Claudia, Danis, Jancy, mm. Edwin. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. Uh, one. I haven't slept last night. Sleep, like this. Sleep, uh, PT. PT, sleep. Sleep, ah, sleep. Sorry. Sleep, last night. Okay, very good. Another one? No, no. for example, I, I haven't... Say? I haven't? Say? Say? Mm -hmm. Say? Oh, no, 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 no. S A I D. Ah, said. Said. Yeah. I haven't said. Uh -huh. more, much light. I haven't said many lights. Many, <laughs> ah, okay. Many, okay. Like that? Many. Okay, many. Okay. But in yes. this case, eh, we, you, we use the verb tell. Vamos a usar el verbo tell. What is the past tense? Ah, yes, 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 yes. What is the past tense of tell? Tell. No. Ah, empieza con T, es la clave que les doy. <laughs> Ajá. ¿Quién me le ayuda, Danis? Ahí. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? Mm. Okay. Yo me compré la Va a comprar con cosas. Sí. Ajá. Tool. Tool. Okay. Ajá. Y luego empieza con T, el pasado participe también. Lucy. The same, Tool. The same. Same. Tool. Ok. Mm. Tool, Tool, Tool. Ok. Entonces, I haven't told. Many lies. No he dicho muchas mentiras hasta el momento, dice Danis. Ok. Very good. Es, es, es un ejemplo. Ah, yes, es un ejemplo. So, do you have any questions? Yes, tell me. Uh, she has a... Uh -huh. She has a... Uh, play, play now. She has a play now. Mm, now... No, we can use that expression. Esa expresión como que no va. Ella no ha jugado ahora. O bien, puede tener sentido. Busémosla. She hasn't played now. No ha jugado ahora. Suponiendo que usted lo está diciendo eh, en una hora en la cual el día todavía no termina. ¿Ok? Yes. Thank you very much, Jancy. Very good job. Teacher. All right. Yes, tell me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh one more. I haven't born born a diner. I haven't born diner. Dinner. Dinner. No ha quemado la cena. Uh -huh. Back <laughs> okay. Aún. Okay. Yet, so yeah. yes. okay. I haven't born dinner yet. Okay. Maybe you wonder why the teacher used born and not born. You, you have it like that. Yes? Así lo tenía usted, ¿verdad? Con ED. Yes, teacher. Ajá. ¿Y por qué la teacher le puso la T y no la ED? Exacto. Ah, esa es la pregunta eh, del eh, millón eh. de dólares. Ok. Regular verb. No, it's irregular. 
It's no, irregular. It's irregular. It's irregular. But the difference is that born is the the difference is British and American English. Tenemos el inglés británico y el inglés americano. That is the difference. But both are correct. Las ambas están correctas. Okay. Por, les digo esto porque en algunos libros les puede aparecer born, digamos así como está ahí con T, y a veces les puede aparecer born con la R, entonces no se vayan a confundir, ah, es verbo regular, no, it's irregular. Okay. So we continue, and continuing, we have a story. Let me see if I can make this bigger. We have a story, and in this story, I'm going to ask for some volunteers. I need one, two, three, four volunteers. Vamos a necesitar cuatro voluntarios que me ayuden a leer los cuatro parrafitos que tenemos acá. Okay, Edwin. Edwin is number one. Susie, number two. Karina, you. Teacher, yo tengo... Sorry. Es que no logro ver bien porque se ve como un recuadro. Ajá. ¿No? No sé, no sé si solo soy yo. Sí, es cierto, teacher. Es que se ven así como sí, con las letras. Chiquitito. Okay. Ah, pero Déjenme como recostadas. Ok. Déjenme ver. Ok, ya se ve. Vamos a hacer más grande. Ahí se ve mejor. Ay. Yes. Ya lo vamos a borrar esto que está acá. Si sí, aquí ustedes mandan. <ríe> ok. Ustedes dicen rana y la teacher salta. Ok, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver cómo se ve ahora. Yes. Better. ¿Está mejor? Better. Better. Ok. So Edwin, you will start. Can you begin reading, please? Hey, teacher. I think I have had a very interesting life. I'm 73. 73 now, and I don't work anymore. I was in the army for 55, 51 years. I retired when I think. I've been to Australia six or seven times and to South Africa three times. I have also been once to Russia, but I don't, I didn't like it at all. Much too cold for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. So can you tell me before we continue, we are going to discuss the each paragraph, okay? How old is the old colonel? ¿Cuántos años tiene? How old is he? Uh -huh. How old is he? Seventy? Seventy-three or seventy-nine? Seventy-three. Seventy-three. Very good. And can you tell me for how many years he worked for the army? Fifty-one years. Fifty-one years. Okay. What places has he visited? He remember Australia, South Africa, and Russia. 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 Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who was the second volunteer? ¿Quién fue el segundo voluntario por ahí? Me. Okay, go ahead. They say that love is a great thing and agree. I've been married four times, but never for more than five years. I don't think women really understand me. Wow. Uh -uh. wow. ¿Cómo se dice pícaro en inglés? <laughs> oh, he is like a womanizer. Oh, womanizer. womanizer. Yes, womanizer. <laughs> how many okay. how many marriages he had? ¿Cuántos matrimonios tuvo él? Four. 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 
Pero no duró más de cuántos años? For how many Five years? years? Five, Five years. years. Exactly. Women, women don't understand him. Okay, thank you. The next paragraph, who was the volunteer? ¿Quién era el voluntario? Karina, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Because, because I travel a lot. I see. No, 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 no. Of... Paragraph number three. Ah, three. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've never been on television, but I've been on the radio once. It was a program, a program about life in the military about 20 years ago. I met a, pre, a prime minister of the same day. Actually, I met a lot of famous people, members of the royal family a famous politician and also famous cinema and television personalities. I've never met an American president though, which is a pity. What a pity. Have you heard that expression? What a pity. What a shame. Qué pena, ¿verdad? Qué lástima. Qué lástima. Okay. So, uh, has he been on television? Yes or no? He never been on television. He's never been on television. Very good. In, in what programs has he been? Radio. 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 He's been on the radio. On the radio. Very good, thank you. The last volunteer in the paragraph number four. Mm -hmm. One more volunteer. Uh -huh. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer el párrafo número cuatro? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Because I, ¿cómo se, how do you say I be? I. I've traveled. I've traveled a lot. I've seen a lot. Uh, all wonderful things and hell all aging, airing, and drum some strange food and drinks. I I ate cut and rat in India and drank some Sunday called Mir Mir Mirto on a little Islam in early many years ago. Thank you. The pronunciation of Islam is island. I island. 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 Yes. Thank island. you. Okay. Thank you. So tell me, what countries has he visited? Las Islas, Islas. Island? Las Island, India. Okay. Okay. Italy, right? Yeah. Italy. Italy. Yes, that is the country that he mentioned. And also the other country that he mentioned is? India. 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 Imagine, imagine you eating rats. Ya se imaginan comiendo rats. Well, yeah. Uh, he ate rats. Yes. Wow. Cats and rats. Comer gatos y ratas. Disgusting. So, can you, can you identify the tense in this uh, reading? ¿Qué forma verbal estamos usando en este reading? Present continuous. Present continuous or present perfect? Ah, present perfect. So. Present perfect. Present yes. perfect. Because we have in green color. Thank you, guys. So we are going to continue with the last, almost with the last activities. So get ready because you're going to work, okay? 
in the first one, you are going to work with these uh, exercises from one to six. You are going to create affirmative and negative sentences using the present perfect and using this, okay? That is the first part. The second part, you create a short, a short conversation, a short conversation about a problem in your company using the present perfect, okay? A problem in your company using the present perfect. Short conversation, short conversation, all right? And when you finish these two exercises, we are going to complete this extra practice. Maybe you can take a screenshot with your cell phone because you are going to need it. You are going only to change the verbs into the present perfect, you know, the past participle. That is what you need. Okay? Tell me when you are ready. Ready? Ready, Freddy? Yes? Are we ready? Estamos listos? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. So let me send you to the breakout rooms. We are going to work in teams. I'm going to be checking each group. So if you have any questions, you can ask me. Okay, go ahead. Hello, Fidel, are you there? Hello, Fidel. Nelson, you are going to work together. Make sure that you complete the exercises. I'm going to come back in a few minutes, just in case you have any questions, okay? Hello. Yes. Hello. You are here, but I guess that Fidel is not here. Okay. Uh, pardon. Nelson. Yes. Sí. Okay. Estamos acá. Vamos a trabajar con Fidel. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. I'm going to okay. come back in a few minutes. Eh, ahorita le digo a Nayansi. Sí. 
que se me perdió. El arte de magia se me perdió. Repentinamente se fue. Me quiere dar copia. No, ¿cómo no? Bueno, entonces sería Mario, Mario Haas, Mario Haas, Changel. Mario Hassent. Seis tipos. Hassent. Change. The fuse. Okay. The other is the production. The production. Stop it. Has not, has not, mm -hmm. stop. Uh -huh. No. No. It have, ¿verdad? Mm, no, because he's... No, it has. It, it has. Uh -huh. ah, has. Sí. has not stopped. Uh -huh. And the other is or team or team or team. Have I see it's has or have have team. So yeah, our team has has plural. So they have, but it's nuestro uh -huh. nuestro team. Ah, sí. Have. Y sería fix, fix it. Ah, sí. Fix it. No, no, no es has. Es has o have. Ay, ahí se te confundía. Aquí, has. 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 Yeah. Has fix. Fix it. Equipment. Jenny ah. okay eh, Jenny has not look 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 plug, plug it ¿Cómo se escribe? G, G y D. G, G. No. No, Karina. No. G. G, G. 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 No. Double G. Double G. Ah. Yeah. Ok. After the course. Thank you, no. Jenny has not plucked, plucked the cords. No. The cords. Okay. The, the second story. Is, has. The secretary has. Has made. Make it. Any? Make it. No. Así? D. No. D. D. Yeah. Are you sure? Yo creo que es este. Yes. Copies. Copies. And the last is the Check it. Nisha has. Check. 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 Sierra. Check. 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 Voy a mandar yo lo, lo otro ahorita. Ok, give me one second, please. 
Wow. Hi, Miss. You are almost finished. <laughs> no, es que nos equivocamos en el orden. <laughs> okay. But this is easy. You only need to put the present perfect and the verb in the past participle. The auxiliary and the past participle of the verb. Yes, we finished the first activity. Mm -hmm. the, the first uh, grammar activity. Yes, yes, we finished that. Okay. Right now we make the... Ahorita la voy a mandar al grupo. Okay. We need the, is the secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Edwin. Okay. Uh, extra, extra practice. Vamos a hacer otra la conversación. Uh -huh, the conversation. Una Fine. pequeña conversación. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Using bueno. the present perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, eh, estoy pensando en una conversación así como que. Llaman del, al departamento de IT. Por ejemplo, ahorita con lo primero. Hello, this is IT department. Can I help you? Uh -huh. Y solo me queda yes. I, y ahí me he quedado. Uh -huh. <laughs> Susie, what ideas can okay. you give? We can give. O sea, podemos usar lo que hicimos ayer y completarlo un poco más. Ayer hicimos unos, unos vocabularios relacionados a eso, el del mantenimiento. Eso nos facilitaría mucho, solamente la adecuamos y agregamos otros, otras líneas para que participe, para hacerlo de tres. Uh -huh. But um, what you can do is also to add the present perfect, the present perfect. Uh -huh. Cambiamos lo que ya tenemos. Que cambiar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Lo que ya tenemos y lo ponemos en present perfect. Yes. Uh -huh. Ok, hey. buena idea la de Susi. Nos facilita un poquito. Yes. Solo por eso se va a sacar las pupusas de esta noche para los compañeros. Ay, si yo quisiera, yo quisiera así conocer personalmente a varios. Ah, ok. Porque yes. somos, ya somos poquitos los que quedamos del inicio, por lo menos sí. en este grupo. Yes. Sí, ¿Ya se conocían no la ustedes? cambiaron. Ah, sí, estamos, Sonia. Estamos desde enero. Sí. Desde que comenzó todo. <risa> ok. O sea que Susi, Luis y Edwin ya estaban en el mismo grupo. Y Alfonso. Alfonso. Sí. Alfonso también. Pero Ajá, Alfonso solo Alfonso. se conecta así en el teléfono y queda en negro. Ya, sí. es que como por el trabajo se lo cambiaron. Uh -huh. tiene, está más cansado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. okay. Esa es la, eh, lo que les he compartido. Hoy 29 de julio, dice aquí que va a parir. 19 de julio. 20. Okay. 20. Sí, sí. La copié bien, Ok, ahí sí. Yes. Ok. Eso es lo que hicimos. Podríamos modificar. Hay la primera. The first sería. I have studied, studied French. Es, es study. Como se escribe. Es, she has. Es, estudiar se escribe. Ajá. Es study. French. The next sería. She has. She has. Eight. Eight, eight, este, ¿cómo se dice? Eight. Eating. Eating, eating. Eating. Eating, eating. Y le agregamos el E de teacher. No, se escribe e aten. E aten, con E N. Con E N. E aten. E N. E N. E N. O Octopus. ¿Qué es octopus? Pulpo. Pulpo. Vamos a cenar pulpo. Después de la clase vamos a cenar pulpo. Va a caer pesado. Ok. 
Number three. They. They have. Have. Uh, where or was? No. No. Yeah. Is. Be. 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 Been. Been. Okay. Um. B e e n. Been to Scotland. To Scotland. Number four. We have. We have real. Real red con ed. No, red normal. ¿Qué da igual? Feel... The same. Feel... Uh -huh. No cambia, ¿verdad? No. La pronunciación real. sí cambia. El presente es real, pasado es red y el pasado participio es row. Red, oh. red, row. Pero aprenderse todo eso está ayudando. No, la práctica le va a ayudar. Red, red, row. Five. Sí. He has. He has. He has. Lives. 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 You finish? No. Chef. Uh -huh, tell me. I, it's going to say, I have have. What is the past participle of the second half? <laughs> O sea, I have está bien, pero el otro tiene que ir al pasado participio. Have. No. Have. Been. Have. Have. Ah, ah, I have had. Yo he tenido. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, Claudia. <risa> I, I have had. Uh -huh. Yo he tenido, ¿verdad? Ah, yo he tenido. I um, problem. Problem. Which? Uh, with a connection. The connection. Uh, to internet. To internet. To internet. Of the internet connection. The internet connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did you finish the last exercise, guys? Yes. yes. I mean the other one, the next one. The el, next el one. último. Ajá, el último. Ya, no, ya lo completé. No. no. Vaya, complétenme el último, porfis, porque le voy a preguntar a su grupo las respuestas de ese ejercicio. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál era el último? <risa> ok. Eh, ok. Es que te, el, Dani le tocó captura, ¿verdad? Sí. Pues que te comparta Dani, espérame. Va. Va. Voy. Ajá. Tiene que, tiene que ser dijo. Ese creo que sí cambia. Este teacher a tiempo ha regresado. No, en el number six. No, es cambia, ¿verdad? Cambia. Solo le va a agregar una N al final. No. No. no ajá. Una N mm -hmm. al final. Ajá. Ay. 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 Let me tell you that your group, your group will share the exercise, uh, the answers from exercise one. Su grupo va a compartir las respuestas del ejercicio número uno. No sé si ya lo terminaron. Sí. Ok. So, Digamos that... que sí. Ok. So get ready. Yes. 
Esperamos que yes. Ok. Si no hay, no corrige, teacher. Ok, go ahead. Ok. Y a Haven de... Entonces aquí es donde quiero cambiarle eh, Haven y ponerle un verbo. Yes, uh, Miss, um, bueno, we have a, a doubt without sentence with the verbo have. Mm. Because, ¿cómo es que estaba Edwin? Decía, uh -huh. we, para ponerle que no tuvimos electricidad ayer, we haven't okay. electricity we haven't, yesterday. We haven't had, we haven't ah. had. Hat. Ah, okay. H-A-D. Sí, mm -hmm. Yo estaba hat. confundiendo el primer have con tener y todo, lo estaba confundiendo. We haven't had the electricity yesterday. Mm -hmm. and, uh -huh. and no turn on computer. And, and the computer, is, ahí podemos poner que se dañó o falló. No, por eso, en turn on, no enciende. Ok, ok. Mm -hmm. And Conectela le van a decir. <laughs> plug in, plug in. Okay, uh, plug listen. In. Your group is going to do the, the conversation, okay? El grupo yes. de ustedes lleva la conversation. Así es que okay. ahorita en un minuto vamos a iniciar ya. Okay? Okay, okay. No, so no, get no, ready. No vamos avanzado. Vamos no. avanzado. ¿Cómo? Podemos decir dos líneas cada uno, por lo menos. Uh -huh. Con una línea que digan, it's enough. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo dijo, teacher? En plug on. Plug in. Conéctela. Plug, ah. plug P-L-U-G. Plug. No, 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 no. No, no porque estamos... Recu... Ajá, ya entendí el plug in. Eh, pero lo que... Bueno, en... Fidel is working. Pues, lo saludamos, pero no sabemos si está. <laughs> okay. Luisito está por ahí, sí. Yes, sí, sí, con Luis sí está. Estoy en blanco ahí. ahorita. Okay. En blanco y negro. Pongámosle color, pongámosle color. <laughs> Susie, you stay with me tonight as, after the class, okay? Ah, okay, okay, that's good. Okay, so we are going because to I start. am not sleepy, because I am not sleepy. Okay, me neither. Okay. <laughs> so we are about to start. Ya empezamos en un minuto, okay? Okay, okay thank you. you. Okay, so who was the the group? Dolores, Dolores and Ana Yancy is the group number one. Can you give me the answers, Dolores? Okay. Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Three and three. Lo, eh, Yancy, three and Dolores, three. Okay. okay. Uh, number one. Eh, Mario has changed change mm -hmm. mm -hmm. food. Okay. Eh, number two, the the production has has not stopped. Okay, stopped. Stopped. And number three, our team have uh, fixed the equipment. Equipment. 
Equipment. Thank you, Ana Yancy. Dolores, continue with the next one. Number four. Jenny has not blocked the records. Block. Num blocks. Okay. okay. Number five. The secret. The secretary has has marked in note copies. Me. Number six, the, the, chaining, the chainixians has checked the connectors. Technician. Okay. Technicians. Thank okay. you very Thank much. You. Thank you very much. Uh, Susie, your group conversation. Susie, Edwin, and Luis. Ok, ahorita, permítame, que no le he enviado todavía este chat. Thank okay. you. Ok, entonces en lo que están ahí, vamos con el último grupo. Era la extra practice. Danis, your group. Karina. Karina. I haven't. In Claudia. I have a student French. Okay. Yes. He has eaten octopus. Uh -huh. Continue. They have been to Scotland. Okay. Next. We have read, read? that book. Uh -huh. Yes. He has. He has lived here for Three years. Three years. Mm -hmm. uh, you have uh -huh. shown new baby. They you have new. Fourteen years. New. Yes. New. New. Non. Ahí sería non. known. Solo le iban a agregar la n. La n al verbo ah. no known. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. No. Ah. Uh -huh. eh, las otras ya no las tengo. We have. Uh, we have. We been, have been. Where? No. We have been. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, here for two weeks. Uh, uh -huh. Exactly. I have lost. Lose? My keys. Yeah. Uh, and he has drunk. Drunk. Too much um, coffee. Oh. And they have this train. 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 Very good. Thank you. Susie, ready now? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I'll have you. Susie, Luis, and Edwin, go ahead. Hello, this is IT department. Can I help you? Good morning. I called yesterday with report my computer. What happened? We haven't had the electricity yesterday and my computer born. I have used the other computer. They could change it to me? Yes, wait. In this moment, we write report and send with my boss. Okay. It's all miss. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Very good. So the topic, as I told you, eh, it's a little bit complicated because we need to memorize the verbs, the past yes. participle in the verbs. That is the that is the key. Esa es la clave. Okay. Memorize the verbs in the past participle. I'm going to send you some videos, maybe tonight after the class or tomorrow in the morning, okay? So okay. Uh, thank you very much for being here, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we have another interesting topic, okay? So don't miss class. Okay? Perfect. Have a good night. You, good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Susie, Susie, get ready, Susie. Yes, I am ready. Okay. Tell me then, what's your questions? 
what well, your questions are. Yes. I don't have a questions um, specific. Okay, so I, I, do you want to have a conversation in English? Yes, I really like it. Okay, tell me a, a little bit. A bit. <laughs> yeah, me puse nervios. Relax, <laughs> relax. <laughs> okay. Tell me okay. a little bit about yourself. Okay, I I really like uh, to learn English, but I I some days I feel difficult uh -huh. because I I I I feel tired. Okay, I feel tired when I feel tired when I when coming to work. Okay. And sometimes I am. I am sleepy. Okay. And in the last week, one day I come in too late. Okay. And I don't come in. But I really like it. I really like to learn. And I really like the class. Okay. Because with you, it's, it's more, I no sé cómo se dice, happiness? Happy. 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 Okay, Happy. cheerful. No, cheerful. Okay. Cheerful. Cheerful. Divertida. Cheerful. Okay. okay. And okay. the platform, sometimes me retraso. I delay. Okay, I delay because it is the same. And today I am, I, I continue working in that. Okay. But I feel, I feel continue in the night. Okay, because you are in a sleep. <laughs> I not <laughs> Did you drink coca? Did you drink coca cola? No, no, no. Or coffee? No. 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 Sometimes I drink coffee, ah, but okay. today not. Today because not. you say that you are not sleepy. No, porque si la tomo ya no duermo. Salgo por para el día siguiente. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow you work. Yes. Yes. Okay. And I work on um, the. Only five days in the week. Okay. And and what what uh, do you like your work? You're working. Yes, I really like it. I really like it because in this year I have changed. I have a change and I am learning a lot. Okay. So you yes. like it. And and yes. what's your schedule? A schedule. I don't remember that is schedule. The hours. The hours that you work. From ah, okay. Um, okay, from the 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, from But some 10 days, I, I, I finish late, 7, 7.30, 8, and... Mm, because hay al tiempo, tipo 9, only when, when it's end of month. Okay. So yes. that's good. And in the weekends, what do you do during the weekends? Oh, I make cleaning. I'm going shopping, the supermarket, the merchants, and I, 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 I do rest. I watch TV. I play with my children. No, only that. Okay. And, and tell me, what is something that you really like to do with your family? I really like watch TV. Watch TV, okay. Yes, what, I what like kind, to me. What kind of TV programs do you watch? I like see movies. Ah, okay. Movies and investigation discovery. <laughs> okay, the crime. Because I see, criminal, yes. <laughs> criminal people. <laughs> yes, I really like that, and uh, and some days only walk to okay. aquí in the in the in the colonia. ¿Cómo se dice aquí en la colonia? In the neighborhood. 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 In the neighborhood and go um, to heladería. Excuse me. Heladería donde vamos a comer aquí paletas, helados. Ah, okay, the ice cream yeah. store. Okay, the ice cream store and. We go walking. Okay, with your children. Yes, okay. I have four children. Wow, four children. That's nice. You are maybe a really good mother. 
I hope so. <laughs> okay. So who take yeah. care of your children when you are working? Who take care of them? My mom. Ah, your mom. My mom helped me. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's My nice. My mom helped me. Yes. All right. Is so they... what's, what's your favorite color? I think it's blue. Blue. Why do you like blue? Because the sky. Because of the sky. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yes. I like blue too. My favorite color is yes. blue too. And sometimes I really like the yellow. Wow. I think it's how I feeling. If I if I happy is a color. If I say other color. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, it's like that. Okay. Yes. Nice. So um tell me what do you do when you feel when you feel sad? What do you do in order to feel happy? I write. You what? I write. Ah, you write. What do you write? Yes. <laughs> Grocery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. That's okay. interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Sort of words. Okay. Okay. No problem. Uh -huh. And and when you are well, when you are in you know in a future, why yes. do you want or why are you studying English for the future or it's because you like it? I like it, but I really I really think that learn English si fluido realmente mm -hmm. it helps me in the work. Okay. Or for the menos change of work. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you I use think English it's, it's in that. you use English in your job. Yes. In your work. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. So um well as you don't have any questions, I have one more question for you tonight. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tell me, what is someone you really admire? Someone you admire. Really admire, yes. Personajes. Yes, maybe. Mm. Well, I really never, bueno, I never seen, that. nunca había pensado eso, I never thinking that. But I, I, I am so, no se dice que soy muy emocional. Emotional. Okay, I am emotional. emotional. And, y si ahora me siento de un modo, pues, pues como, me, me digo por eso, o sea, depende realmente de mis ánimos, así puedo ver. Okay. It depends on my mood. Okay, it depends on my mood. Mm -hmm. You are emotional. Wow. Okay, but yes. maybe your mother, you don't admire your mother. Ah, personaje. Maybe your mother okay. can be a yes. I really like my mom because she is so patient, she's very patient. She's okay. ella no regaña. <laughs> okay. No okay. She is, yes, she's quiet. Yes, she's, she's quiet and neat. She's quiet and neat. Yes. Okay. I don't forget that. Okay. So thank you very much, Susan, for sharing this minutes with me. Uh, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Okay, in class. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks to you. I really like the class. Thank you very much. I really like the class. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Have a good thank night. You. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Bye-bye.